Hi gang, this is part 4 of making my BB-8 droid version 2 and in this video I'll add the Adafruit BNO055 inertial measurement unit or IMU. As you can see when my BB-8 droid stops it wobbles back and forth quite a bit in the direction it was moving. The purpose of the IMU is to try to fix this. An IMU or inertial measurement unit basically tells you how the sensor is oriented in space. This one tells you a lot of things, such as the orientation using Euler vectors and quaternions, the angular velocity in all three vectors, and other things. I'm going to just use the orientation. In other words, how much the board is tilted this way, and this way. I'll use one of the Euler angles. I won't know which one until I install the board on the BBH drive system and try it. The board comes like this, along with a set of male pin headers. I put the headers in a breadboard to get them nice and straight up and carefully solder the board to the headers. I prepare a piece of perf board with some mounting holes. I also prepare and plug some female pin headers into the IMU board and hot glue them to the perf board. I also add another female header with seven holes. I then solder wires between six of the pins going to the board to six of those holes. Those are for VIN or voltage in, ground, SCL, SDA, reset, and int. Though I won't be using reset and int. But I said it's a seven hole header. I soldered a wire between the VIN and another hole so that I have two VIN holes. More on why in a minute. By the way, this is what I looked like while soldering. Looking like Deadshot from the DC Universe with my makeshift magnifying lens on one eye. At first I tried putting the board here, but the wires weren't long enough to reach the Arduino. So I removed the battery case and put holes and bolts further back where that was. Then came the board and then putting the battery case back. Finally, I connect ground to one of the Arduino's ground pins, SDA to the Arduino's A4 pin, and SCL to the A5 pin. I want to connect VIN to the Arduino's 5V pin, but that's already in use by my RC converter board. So I unplug that from the Arduino and connect it to one of the IMU board's two VINs. Then I connect another wire from the other VIN to the Arduino's 5V pin. That way both boards are connected to the Arduino's 5V pin. I finish with a little cleanup. I'm ready to start programming. I go to the pages on Adafruit.com for the BNO055 product and download and install the two libraries that it tells me to. Just below that is a sample program which just gets and displays the absolute orientation data across three axes. I install that on the Arduino on my BB-8 and run it. I instantly find that tilting the BB-8 in the direction that it drives in modifies the Y axis since that's the value that's shown changing while I tilt it. So now I know it's the y-axis I need to use. Next I move parts of that sample code into my Arduino BB-8 program. You can find the resulting code on the BB-8 pages on my website. Click on this card, annotation, or see the link in the video description. I won't go through all the code now since I need to experiment with more algorithms to get it to work better. Basically if this is the y-axis and this is 0 degrees, I consider the BB-8 to be level as long as the y-axis is within 7 degrees this way or minus 7 degrees this way. If the BB-8 stops and moves out of range, then I use the motors to get it back into that range. But the first time I ran this code I chose an unacceptable angle, just 3 degrees. When I did that I got a lot of movement when it was leveling. So I tried 5 degrees, and it was better. Eventually I figured that 7 degrees worked best, though it wasn't much different than 9 degrees. But I figured a test in the ball with the head on would tell me more. Here it is with the head. It's using the 7 degree version. I've tried a few algorithms and as you can see it still needs work. But the back and forth wobble is pretty much gone. I may also experiment with the PID loop. Part of the problem too may be that the rollers under the head just slide. Not roll. I'll order some better rollers and try them. Though that may introduce all sorts of new problems too. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel for more fun videos like this. If you want to help support these videos, then you can through my Patreon page. Or you can go to my website and donate any amount you want. And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or a comment below. See you soon!